Hello, here's the preview video for Sunday, June 2nd. Uh, now we will have Cuck Store at the beginning of the session, but by 1040 or so, we'll be gathering in the assembly, our large group stuff in, as normal, and then message, and then breaking off for small groups. Here's your small group guide. Uh, our summer series is Power Up, kind of like VBS, but a different set of messages, same kind of theme. Uh, today we'll be talking about what is love, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love others because God loves you. So uh, throughout this summer, we're actually going to be doing a memory verse on the fruit of the Spirit. So this Sunday is love, and then next Sunday will be joy and peace. So each week we'll be hitting uh, one of the fruits of the Spirit. But for this week being love, uh, introducing the fruit of the Spirit idea, I uh, have an activity here, fruit turnovers. So there's a bunch of different fruits. There are two cards for each fruit. So pass out the cards to the kids in your group, and then uh, you'll call out one of the fruits, and then whoever has the apple card, uh, should be one kid and at least one other, they'll get up and switch spaces in your group's circle. Uh, you can also throw in some things like fruits that have a fuzzy outside or fruits that are red, uh, fruits that should be peeled before they're eaten, like a banana. Um, so you can do different things like that and get the kids moving around. The teaching point on this is just to kind of introduce the, hey, there's a lot happening with all the different fruits that are represented on the cards. And there's a lot of fruits of the Spirit, but don't get overwhelmed by it. Let's have fun with it. We're going to take it one week at a time and breaking these different fruits of the Spirit down. So that's just kind of an introduction to the fruits of the Spirit. Uh, next, we have draw it, sculpt it, act it, sing it, wrap it. Um, so this is going to include these different scenarios that are breaking down the 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Um, so like love does not want what belongs to others. Right here, your friend down the street got a brand new motorized scooter and you don't have one. So you're breaking the kids in your group up into like groups of two or three. And then they have to get one of these cards and think of a response that uh, would be loving with their situation that's on their card. And then they can sculpt uh, out of Play-Doh something, um, some kind of response. They can draw a picture. They can write a little song or a jingle that uh, pertains to their scenario. Um, but just challenging the kids to um, act on love as 1 Corinthians 13 uh, defines it based on plausible real-life situations. So there's that. On the back side of your sheet, we have an activity, cause and effect. Uh, so we've got a bunch of these wooden blocks and you're just gonna set them up uh, like dominoes and encourage the kids in your group to work together, kind of have like a snaking pattern. So there's a bunch of different bags here. Um, this bag is kind of small, so you might grab these two at the same time, but there should be a big bag of blocks for every group. And then each kid in the group should be able to get two or three blocks. As a group, create a big snaking pattern with these. And then of course you tip it and they all fall down around the room. And then you have your discussion point about cause and effect. The idea here is that once again, we love because God first loved us. So the cause and effect of God loving us, which is the cause, the effect is that we love others. So you can talk uh, about that with the kids. And then the final activity is a responsive prayer activity. Um, where we're going to uh, be giving different prompts and then the kids respond by say, love others because you love me. So for example, dear God, when I'm impatient, help me to, and then prompt your group to all say, love others because you love me. You, the leader says, when others are being unkind, help me to, then your group says, love others because you love me, and so on. So that's a responsive prayer to close out the uh, group uh, activities. And uh, thank you very much, I'll see you on Sunday.